Hi there and welcome to today's class. I'm very excited for you to learn today. Now in university they teach you some different languages such as English, Spanish or French. But they always leave out one very important language that I'm going to share with you today. And that is the language of freaking games. So what's going to happen is as follows. I have created a free workout routine for you all that is very, very effective for building muscle as well as gaining strength, but it's mainly focused towards building an aesthetic physique. So it's not a powerlifting program. It is a bodybuilding related program. Now the word bodybuilding might scare you off, but this is for literally anyone who wants to get into the gym and who wants to train pretty often because this workout routine is three days on and then you take one day off because it is a legs push pull workout split. Now, some people only want to do three days a week. In that case, I recommend following a full body workout routine instead of this legs push pull workout split. This really is for people that want to hit the gym pretty often. You're not in the gym as long as you know some other workouts that you might find online. Uh, you're in there quick and you go hard. And this is a real good way to make steady progress and to continuously improve on your lifts as well as increase in muscle mass. Now, the reason why I don't recommend only following like one part of this program is because first of all, it has been structured into A and B days. Uh, so, you know, in, in my first video, it's gonna be legs A and B. Second video, push A and B, then pull A and B. But next to that, next to the two different days, uh, which, you know, serve a different purpose, I really believe in high training frequency when you train as a natural lifter. And most of you guys that follow me are natural lifters. I've used this particular program as well when I was prepping for my show naturally and it's given me great results. And this is when I was shredding down. I really believe in a high training frequency instead of a lot of volume per workout per body part. So I'm not a big fan of the body part splits, the bro splits, what they, what they call it as well. Um, I think by now I've talked about it so many times on my channel, you guys already know what I mean by that. So, you know, for natural lifters, it is very important to have a high training frequency to hit every body part at least twice a week or even three times a week with a full body routine. Now with this legs push pull routine, it will be a little bit less than twice a week, right? Because it's three days on, one day off repeat. So not every week, the days will be exactly the same, um, but that is only a one day difference. So the training frequency is just high enough. What I really like about this way of training compared to you know an upper lower split or full body routine is that this really allows you to throw in some more isolation work. And this really helps you with you know achieving an aesthetic physique if that is your goal. This workout routine, the recovery is very, very optimal because you stack the body parts together that work in the same movements, right? The pushing movements, the pulling movements, and then, you know, the legs obviously and the calves. When you train this way, you're able to hit every body part twice a week because you're properly recovered. Now, let's say you would do a chest day and you would do it twice a week, but you will also have a shoulder day and an arm day in which you train your triceps. It does not make sense because every time that you train your chest, your shoulders are always involved right? As well as your triceps when you do pushing movements or basically any movement, right? So if you decide to train that way, you're not able to hit that high frequency. So you don't get the benefit of that. Now with this legs push routine, you get the benefit of the high frequency as well as throwing in isolation lifts still and training in a bodybuilding style way for optimal aesthetics. And next to that also having optimal recovery. Now this workout routine is not just for advanced lifters, I'd say intermediate lifters, uh, but if you're a beginner, you can definitely follow this as well. I recommend first doing a full body workout for quite some time, maybe at least two to three months, uh, which is then three times a week. And then if you wanna hit the gym more often and you wanna give something else a try, then I definitely recommend this legs push pull routine as well. Beginners can do it because a lot of it is focused on building a foundation. And that is what the whole program is tailored towards. And next to that, yes, there will be isolation lifts, but it will not be the main part of the program. I will mainly have you focus on the compound lifts in this program, the big lifts, which builds the foundation. And next to that, there will be isolation lifts as well. There will also be single arm and single leg work in order to create optimal symmetry. And everything is structured towards that, to create not only an optimal aesthetic physique, but also really work on increasing your performance. 
So that's it. Now I'm putting this full routine into an ebook so you can download it and have it with you when you go to the gym and have the full routine, including explanation about everything when it comes to this particular workout split. So I hope you appreciate that. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, share with your lifting buddy and give this routine a try. It's going to be awesome. So you can already go to the website legspushpullsplit.com, leave your email there, but the full routine, the ebook will be released once the first three videos are out. So after I've released you know the legs the push and the pull videos the workout split will be downloadable so i hope you're excited and let's get right into the legs a and legs b days so i'm going to go over the two leg workouts in a commentary so first of all like what are the actual benefits of training your legs that is an important question because a lot of people skip leg day right it is something that is very well known in the fitness industry so first of all symmetry and proportions it just looks stupid if you have a massive upper body, you have a lot of muscle there, and then your legs are literally toothpicks, right? Now, I cannot say that I have the biggest legs in the game or my legs are overpowering my upper body. Definitely not. I've also had like a knee surgery, lower back injury, and I know those are not excuses, but that is the reason why it's definitely not my strongest body part. Uh, but I feel like right now the symmetry really is catching up and I feel like everyone should work on that. It's very important. So that's why one out of the three days is a leg workout. That's not even that much when you compare it to, for example, a upper lower split where half of your workouts is lower body. So if you're used to a bro split, this might feel like a lot of legs, but it's actually not. Uh, next to that, training legs prevents lower back pain, you know, by straining glutes, hip flexors, your quads, hamstrings, and uh, lower back pain is often caused by weak stabilization muscles, right? So that is really what we'll be working on as well with different exercises. Uh, next to that, you will burn more calories. Training legs, you, you can see me sweating during this workout, even though it was lightweight just to show you the proper form. And next to that, you will improve your other lifts. You know, bench press, for example, a lot of leg drive is involved. So make sure to train your legs. So with this routine, that is not a problem at all. As you saw, the first exercise was the front squat. I've really fell in love with this exercise over the last couple of years. And this is also one of the main reasons why my quads are so defined, why I have all these lines on there. Obviously you have to be lean enough as well, but just doing back squats wasn't it for me. I really like the combination of front squats on one day, back squats on the other day. So the front squat is the main movement on this particular day, uh, primarily to focus on you know the quadriceps. And then we do hamstrings afterwards by doing the Romanian deadlift. Now these are two exercises that are extremely brutal. You can go heavy on them, but make sure your form is tight before you start increasing a lot in weight. Now in this particular program, I prefer Romanian deadlifts over regular deadlifts. And that has to do with the Romanian deadlift focusing much more on the muscles that you want to focus on. A regular deadlift is more of a full body exercise, right? Trains the back a lot and actually use a lot of different muscles. Um, so this is why for a full body routine, a regular deadlift is awesome. But for this particular workout split, today we really want to focus specifically on our lower body. So this is why remaining deadlift, in my opinion, is better. We keep the constant tension. And after that, moving on to the one legged leg curl. On every single day, I like to do a movement that is not with two legs or two arms at the same time. So a unilateral movement is what it's called. In this case, the one-legged leg curl. Uh, this machine it may not be optimal for it, but that's what I wanted to show you guys uh, because a lot of gyms don't have a one-legged leg curl that you can use. So in that case, you can just use the regular one and just you know put your foot to the side, your leg, and you'll definitely be able to do it one leg at a time. It's not about moving the most amount of weight, just like this next exercise, which is the leg extension. And this is also the final exercise for the legs in this particular day. So we do four different exercises, all three sets, right? So that is 12 sets in total. Leg extension, a lot of people say is bad for the knees. It doesn't have to be as long as you don't go super heavy on it and you perform it properly so you don't overextend at the top. That is very, very important on this particular exercise. After that, we finished off the quads and the hamstrings and glutes. And now we're going to move on to calves. It's going to be one exercise on each particular day. On legs A, we're going to do the standing calf raise. If you don't have this machine, you can simply grab a dumbbell and you know, stand on anything that will elevate your foot, such as you know, the staircase that you see behind me here. First, you perform four sets of 10 to 12 reps and then one burnout set of 30 reps. So go very light in weight there. Uh, you may not even need a weight at all if you're just like starting out or you haven't trained calf much. And um, you know, do a burnout set of 30 reps. This is gonna feel crazy. Um, it's gonna give a mad pump. And that finishes off the workout. So that was legs A, and now we're gonna move on to legs B. Now on the legs A day, we did the front squat, and on legs B day, we're gonna do the regular squat, the back squat. 
Now on this particular day, the rest time is gonna be slightly different as well as the amount of reps. And you will find the rest time in the ebook that is gonna be downloadable when the legs push pull split is available after all these videos are released. So today we're gonna to focus more on strength on this main compound lift. So that's gonna be the squat, five sets of three to five reps. Now this is a way of training that is referred to as power building. If you do this like throughout your whole workout routine. In this case, the split really focuses on hypertrophy. Uh, there is only one movement right now that we're going to do for three to five reps. But I feel like it's always very important to still keep in the low rep work in order to not just gain muscle and focus on hypertrophy, but also really focus on the lower rep ranges, gaining strength there and making sure that you target all your different muscle fibers. And this is also why we do multiple exercises on each particular day isolation lifts as well in order to target all those muscle fibers in different rep ranges as well as with different angles. Now the next exercise is going to be the Bulgarian split squat. This is an absolutely brutal exercise. I hate this exercise. I think it is the most killing exercise there is and that's why I included it in the routine. You don't gotta do what makes you comfortable, especially not when it comes to lifting. So yeah, obviously we don't all like to squat, we don't like to do Bulgarian split squats. It would be the easy way out to do like a leg press as the first exercise, and then maybe a hex squat, but fuck that, we're not gonna do those machines, right? If we do, it's gonna be later in a workout. We are gonna start off with compound lifts, with free weights, in order to not only gain muscle and strength, but also work on you know stability, and that's something that really comes to play in this particular exercise. Uh, in the beginning, this can be pretty difficult, so you can do it without weight and see how you do. It's an exercise that I did a lot when you know the corona hit and I was training at home, so it's a very good exercise, also with little weight. Now, the Bulgarian split squat, just like the regular squat, it will not only target your quads, it will also target you know both your glutes and hamstrings. So we did five sets on the squat, then we do three sets on the Bulgarian split squat, and then we're gonna finish it off already. So it's only gonna be three exercises on this particular day, right? Um, but the volume is still the same as on the other day because now we're gonna do five sets of the lying leg curl. If your gym does not have this particular machine, you can find an alternative by setting up a cable for a lying leg curl. You can look that up on YouTube, you'll definitely find it. And if that is not an option at your gym, simply do the seated leg curl or any variation that they have available at your particular gym. Now after this, we're gonna finish off with some calves again, and this time it's gonna be the seated calf raise. By doing both a standing calf raise and a seated calf raise, we'll be able to target all parts of your calf. So that's very, very important. If your gym does not have this particular exercise, the seated calf raise, which happens in some gyms, you can also uh, do this yourself by sitting on a bench and then putting a weight on top of your quads, um, have the same angle in your leg because that's what it's all about, that your leg is in an angle down, and then um, do it the same way that I'm doing it. But you just need something to stand on, like a step, and most gyms have this for sure. And if they don't, then you can put plates underneath your foot and use that as your step. So that's it for this legs A and legs B part of this workout split. As I said, two more videos are coming. By the time you're watching this, they may already be live. So make sure to go to legspushfullsplit.com to check out more information about the routine and to download the full ebook by the time it's live. So I really hope you guys appreciate me doing this, giving you a workout routine for free. I know not everyone likes to pay for workout splits or wants to do online coaching. Um, and you guys have been supporting me so much over the years. Uh, so I wanna give back as well. And I thought this would be a cool idea. Created a website for you guys, designed an ebook, and everything is gonna be totally free, all right? No cost. So if you want to give this workout a try, please let me know how it is, if you enjoy it, and if you are seeing good progress from it, good gains. I'm really excited to know. So please give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Peace out, guys. Much love.